No laughing on the set, everybody, because we're back with our next guest. She is award-winning recording artist, Grammys board governor, and founder of Ramped.org, Lachi. Hey there. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming on the show. <laughs> and I'm being very careful with what I say so you don't hit me. <laughs> no. We have such a great conversation to talk about, but yes. let me just talk about Ramped for a second sure. in case our viewers don't know what it is. Yes. Ramped is a global network of music creators and professionals with disabilities. Yes. And Lachi, in your recent TEDx you share how you promote identity, pride through music. Yes. And I love that. Yeah. Well, listen, at the end of the day, I believe that the best way for us to really uplift different cultures is through music. It's the easiest and most efficient way. So we learned about Black culture through hip hop, rural culture through country. And so I want to spread the message of disability culture through music as well. And that's what we're doing at Ramped. Okay. So I have to ask, what's your favorite song? What's my favorite song? <laughs> Well, I had the honor of uh, taking one of my glam canes down to the Barbie premiere. Nice. And so pretty much the entire Barbie soundtrack has been in my head. And I also got to meet Billie Eilish at the Grammys Red Carpet. So I think oh we my know God. our answer here. See, if we're going to talk Barbie, then it's got to be between the Lizzo song and the Dua Lipa song. I don't know. Uh, the Lizzo song while the movie's playing yeah. is just... Sometimes I do feel pink. very pink. So... Yeah then that song's a bop for me. But today you're a little purple. Today I'm very purple. Yes, we're doing the whole purple thing. I mean, every time I go out, I got to look good and I got to have my cane to match because just because I'm blind doesn't mean I can't be fashionable. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and you look amazing. Let's Thank talk you. about your organization again. Oh, yeah. Because we kind of got it. <laughs> so your organization, Ramped, has yes. become the platform for disability and neurodivergent representation in yes. the music industry. How was this organization founded? How is it? How's it evolved? Like you've come so far. Yeah. Well, you know, as a recording artist and, you know, touring professional coming up in the music industry, it was very difficult for me to advocate for myself because disability is just not something people thought about or was part of their lived experience. And I can't really blame people for that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I would be tripping over wires in the studio or missing a handshake at a dark club at night. And I was like, something needs to change. And I went to Google and I Googled disability and music and nothing came up. So I decided yeah. something needs to come up. And I went straight to the recording Academy and said, what are you guys doing for accessibility and disability? And they were like, um, so I was like, all right, I want to partner with you folks and really start making things happen. And that was really the beginning of this sort of journey toward Ramped. I started wanting to join different music industry boards so that I could be in leadership. And instead of being outside and kind of picketing at the gate, I wanted to just be in the rooms at the table, looking at people eye to eye and saying, here are some of the changes that myself and my community would love to make in the music industry. And people started listening and getting excited about what we were doing. And that is how we were able to really make such a powerful movement in just two years. Wow. Good for you. And you're <laughs> crushing it right now. You're the New York chapter governor and yes. DE on I ambassador yes. for the Recording Academy. Yes. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? If people say if there's one word to describe me, it's energy. Um, okay. I, if I care about it, if I'm passionate about it, I will go 158% yeah. and sometimes 159 uh, because this message is so new and deserves it. And I'm here for it. Well, after this conversation, it's going to be at least 160. At ah, least. Ah, at least. Ah, We're pushing you further than you've even pushed yourself because you, so you deserve much. it. And we want so much for everything you're doing to just help power people in the industry, the industry itself, and just bring awareness to everything that you're doing. This is so great. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on Liftoff. Thank you so much for having me. And you know what? Thank you so much for giving me space and amplifying my voice. Absolutely. You going to sing something for us? <laughs> I don't sing unless I get a check. Oh, but for you, no. darn it. <laughs> All right. How about this? Check. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm indebted to you forever. Stay tuned. I don't know if it's going to get much better than this, but we're going to see what we can do.